Well, today there was an update on the little computer screen over here. I'll, I'll uh, show it to you right now. And it was a mapping for the fuel system. Now, if I think about it correctly, that was for that irregular idle, kind of a rough idle. They were trying to fix that. So that being said, what I want to do right now is do a mileage check see if it changed the fuel economy for this truck because auto manufacturers in the past have what do you call it uh, screwed with the power numbers on a vehicle for emissions reasons after you purchase it so what i'm going to do is we're going to do the same run pretty much we did a couple months ago i am at 6100 miles it's not showing it right now but i'm at 6100 miles on my 23 canyon um let's hope that uh you know, we can uh, get a good mileage. I'm gonna be going all the way to Corona, California and back. It's gonna be about a 400 mile journey. Let's see what kind of fuel economy, let's see what kind of fuel economy I get with, uh, with that. Who knows? So we just gassed up and we're gonna do it off the meter today because it's pretty close. It's within two tenths or one tenths but every time I've checked it. So we're gonna try it off of that. Forty-five in the morning. Gotta go pick up my dad. I did have to run to the grocery store last night. It's about a mile and a half from my house. But uh, we got the mileage all set. And let's give this thing a whirl from Hanford, California, all the way to Corona, California, and back. And let's see what kind of gas mileage we get at 6,192 miles. We're almost to Los Angeles now. And if we take a look at our mileage, well, let me tell you what's going on here. We are at Santa Clarita over by Magic Mountain, north of Los Angeles, and we are in pea soup. There is absolutely a traffic jam here. There are hundreds of semi-trucks in the road here, plus road construction over here. So, gives a good chance to take a look and uh, see what our mileage is so far. We are almost to Los Angeles. We just came over the grapevine, which is a 4,000 foot grade from sea level and back down. And we are at 19.8 miles with 168 miles driven. So we are right at 20 miles per gallon going, you know, up and over hills in traffic and at 75 miles an hour. So not too bad so far. We're gonna be heading into Corona picking up, oh, what, nine, ten, about 500 pounds with the targets, and then heading back down the hill, and we'll have an overall when we get to Corona, and then when we get back down to Hanford. As we roll into Corona, we are back in traffic again, because Los Angeles and LA County and Riverside County is basically hurry up and wait. But let's do a quick update on our mileage to this point so far. That's coming from basically sea level over the top of the grapevine all the way down to Corona, California, which we're about five miles out. Let's take a look at our trip. And there we go. 241 miles in, 21.1 miles per gallon. So that fuel update I was talking about was probably for the high idle and not necessarily for the power and the uh, because we didn't have any trouble getting over the grapevine. We had no trouble, uh, gosh, anywhere on the trip. But let's just um, get loaded up here now and then turn around and head back and see what our overall is, hauling 500 back now, pounds back. Okay, we made it all the way to Corona, California. 248 miles at 21 miles a gallon. I just gassed up. I'm going to reset it right now. Reset trip. Reset. Down to zero. And we're headed back up. A lot of traffic today, so it's going to take a while. But we'll see what happens when it comes to the mileage on the truck. We have eight cases of targets at about 40 pounds a piece. So what, eight times four, 320 pounds or so. We'll see what happens when we uh, get back home, gas back up. Gonna try and do something pretty fun. We are right now on the grapevine. We are just 
past Gorman heading towards Bakersfield and there's a huge basically 3,000 foot drop in elevation over about six miles. Right now we're running at 19.8 miles per gallon at highway speeds and uh, traffic has eased up quite a bit. It was terrible in Los Angeles. So right now it's 19.8. Uh, Let's see what it looks like right here when we get to the bottom of the hill into the central San Joaquin Valley. Okay, we're into the bottom of the hill behind us now and we are in the southern San Joaquin Valley here. Uh, Bakersfield is just ahead. Let's take a look. It went up one mile per gallon in that last six miles because you are dropping down quite a bit. So we're running at uh, 123rd mile right now at 20.8 miles the gallon and it's going to keep going up because we're going to keep going downhill uh, until we get to Bakersfield. So uh, last check will be when we get to the pumps back in uh, Hanford. We pulled into Hanford and we are now at 240 miles coming home and we got 21.2 miles per gallon. That is going to be about the same as we got going over there, empty, over the grapevine and down to Corona. So knowing whether um, we either have a uh, load or not, it's about the same coming back, but know this, it's a uh, Everybody's been telling me that you need to get at least 6,000 miles on your motor before you can do a mileage test because it's not even broken in yet. Well, I will tell you that this is exactly the same gas mileage I got the last time I did this trip at 2,000 miles. So it looks like this thing is keeping up with its mileage at 21.2. And uh, there you go. It's... Uh, <laughs> it, uh, it's not too bad, especially we're at freeway speeds and very, very, very thick traffic the whole time. So I really can't complain when they're on the highway with a truck with 430 pound feet of torque just ripping through the hills there at uh, 21.2 miles per gallon. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below, and we hope you enjoyed this edition of Reviews It.